Okay, in this part of the video, we're going to deal with some of this uh, more difficult edge here and try to eliminate some of this multicolored background and just try to leave the strands of hair so we can kind of keep that natural look. Because um, if we don't, we'll end up with a hard edge and it'll look unnatural. And that would certainly make the client unhappy. <laughs> so first thing I'm going to do is zoom in. Uh, so I'm going to grab the magnifying glass up in the toolbar and zoom in as much as I can here. That's probably pretty good right there. And then I'm just going to show you how you can deal with this. These difficult edges. We'll start here on the bottom um, with this. And since I have, a, I want to maintain a black background, I'm going to make sure that, you know, black is my foreground color here. Uh, so the active foreground color needs to be black here. And then I'm going to use my paintbrush. And if you want to switch your brush up, you can do it up here. Just click in the toolbar where the brushes are up here. I'm just going to use this hard edge brush here. I like that. And then here you can see there I've got my brush. And I can go down here and just start painting uh, this out. And so this is going to be the most time-consuming part of the project. If you're dealing with a picture with a... Uh, difficult background. It's a good idea to take your finger off the mouse once in a while so the memory it'll preserve what you've done. And uh, see if I don't, for example, let's say I keep going for a while and oh, I screwed up. I you know, took away some of the hair. Control Z it and it comes back. But it's a good idea just to take your time. You know, just do a nice slow paint here. And some of these areas you can go a little faster, of course, when you're, you know, dealing with it. But once you get to the edge here of the hair, you got to be really, oop, like that. You got to be really careful um, to maintain that those little strands. So, so that's basically how you deal with that. So we're going to go ahead and try to get rid of some of this. edge here and again I'm just painting black over the areas that I want to cover up or get rid of I'm just I'm actually painting on it not using the eraser you can see there I took my finger off the mouse and then I just keep going Okay. Uh, it's very tedious and time consuming, but that's what you want to do. You want to take your uh, paintbrush and just brush out the areas. Now, let's say you've got a difficult area in here and that your brush is too big. You can go up to the upper right hand corner over here and deal with the size right here. You can bring it down right here, or if you're out here, you can just use the bracket keys. I just push the bracket, left bracket key makes it smaller. And the right bracket key brings it up and makes it larger. So if I hit the right bracket key several times, you can see the area is getting bigger where I paint. Left bracket key gets much smaller for that really, really fine detail. Right here, I can kind of go up with it here. Okay. And then you just keep going. You just pick little areas of your picture to get rid of some of the multicolored backgrounds there. Now, of course, if you have a lot of solid colors that are very similar, you can also use the fuzzy select tool or the color selection tools up here. Um, but since this background has many colors, I thought it would be easier just to go in and paint out the areas that I want to get rid of. Okay, now inside here, of course, I want to go a little smaller. So left bracket tool, make that a little bit smaller. Okay, and then get in here. 
hit this area as well maybe up in here and you just do the best you can to create those areas where the hair still shows and it'll you'll have a much smoother image in the end okay so that's basically how you go in and color out some of these areas to maintain to preserve the hair strands and you can see I have my work cut out for me so I'll come back in the next video and show you what it looks like when it's finished.